Good afternoon, esteemed panel members. We are Group 8 and we will start with the introduction of our team. Hi, myself Sayyam. I am from ENC branch and my role number is 10201512. Good afternoon, panel. My name is Jashandeep Singh Manocha and I am from ENC branch and my role number is 10201512. Hello panel, myself Raj Samaya. I am from ENC branch and my role number is 10201514. Good afternoon panel, my name is Jason and I am from ENC branch and my role number is 10201512. Good afternoon panel, myself Yash Mathur. I am from ENC branch and my role number is 10201512. Now I'll begin with the introduction towards our project and explain you the working of the project. So now I am going to explain you the working of our project. The basic aim of this project is intelligent video surveillance. We did uh, we led this project for anomaly detection. We mod we developed a model to trigger emergency notifications to pre-trained contracts. We collaborated as a team to implement ML algos like CNN, Keras, YOLO. The main idea behind this project was that in our campus we see a lot of CCTV cameras installed in the hostel flows, academic buildings, anything that is captured using these cameras does not have a meaning until they are analyzed. So we wanted an intelligent system to detect these anomalous activities. To implement this, we used YOLO algorithm. Uh, YOLO is you only look once. Uh, for conducting the YOLO algorithms in this, we use the TensorFlow API, which is the cornerstone used to identify bounding boxes and objects in the pictures. We also used OpenCV to develop computer vision applications and run the computer vision algorithms efficiently. Then we used TensorFlow, which is end-to-end -end open source platform for machine learning. Then we see what is YOLO. YOLO is real-time object detection system. We also compared the working of uh, YOLO V8 with fast RCM. The process for this was uh, taking the videos from the CCT cameras. The code started off with a capture start. Then the video was converted into frames per second. Then these all the frames were pushed into a queue for feature extraction. And then from the queue, this was popped out for the classification system. Then we did a max pooling followed by object detection and a class created on whether the object has been detected or not. Then came the activity recognition and anomalous activity detection thing. Testing this with the trained model and comparing it with the best trained model in order to check the anomalous activity. Coming to our code, the first code shows the accident detection. Uh, we, we, uh, we have executed the code using the collab. We mounted the drive uh, in the in setting it up with the collab. Everything was first installed. And um, and when the code runs on the YOLO algorithm, it takes in the input video, which is feeded into the folder. The path of the folder is mentioned over here. And then it compares that video with the, uh, then it compares the video with the best train model. So this is the folder which we have mounted off. Uh, this was the input which we have given into that uh, video. Let me start off with the video. This is the video which initially shows that the accident is going to occur. You can see that the black car is going to hit this black, uh, this white and the black car. So this was the initial uh, input which we had given. And then came the output which was directly written into the file. Uh, it consisted of detecting of the cars and the accuracy first. You can see that uh, as soon as the vehicles are coming closer, uh, it has detected that an accident has happened. When it was approaching, it had a low accuracy, but as soon as it touched uh, and crashed the vehicle, it shows a higher uh, higher accuracy. Then comes the second part of our we did second part of a project, which consists of the fall detection. This was basically designed for uh, elder people who are living in their homes. Any anomalous activity which happens in the house can be detected with the help of the CCTV cameras and can be reported to emergency contacts through notification. Similarly, in this thing, we installed the necessary files, Python files, which we required. Then it started off with the YOLO algorithm, setting up the YOLO alg algorithm, uh, mounting the drive. 
and then we feed it in the data. Uh, we use the Coco data set for implementing and training the model. Uh, once the uh, model was trained, we fed in the input video, which was compared with the trained video. And then when it was compared with the best class model, it gave us the output. For that, I have downloaded the videos. First of all, uh, I'll show you the video. the video is stored over here this is the input video which we had implemented this was the initial video which we gave up as a man talk uh, going with the dog and the output resulted in detecting of the objects first and then reporting the fault detection as a notification to the immediate or emergency contacts. So first of all, we started off with uh, training of the training of with the help of uh, images. Once that thing was done, we started uh, implementing this using the pre-trained, pre-recorded YouTube videos, which can now further be uh, extended to using uh, uh, taking the supply taking the footages from the CCTV cameras and uh, implementing it. That's all for this project. Thank you.